What's going on guys? Lethal Flex here and today I bring you a third updated zombie deck profile with a very stacked extra deck, a very um, pretty powerhouse and it's going to be none other than the Caius Ruler, right, otherwise known as Cody. Uh, how do you feel about the new zombie support coming out man with the Vampire Lords and... Dude it is freaking amazing, those guys are gonna like... I don't know. Just tier one? Be out of everybody. Tier one? Tier one. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so he's good. calling it zombies tier one. Well, let's see what happens. Let's get into the deck profile. All right, so um, for the zombies right now, we're going to start off with three pyramid turtles. Okay. okay. Pretty and these standard. guys are super good. Like, they go into every single zombie in your deck, okay? And uh, they always turn into freaking endless decays, okay? At 4K, yeah. all right? And anything, you know, above, uh, like, 24 is like really viable and oh, you can yeah. always use pyramid turtle to uh, stack for next turn so uh, You can always uh, special summon uh, zombie master from it if uh, Next turn you're gonna have like the Oni inferno reckless combo or just go off. Okay. Okay, okay. and then uh, you got the one begging saver because he's an extra uh, he saves uh, you a lot, okay, and he's a dark, so you're easily able to pitch it with Armageddon Knights and all of those things. Okay. Um, and then you got the one Mizuki. Now, this guy is super good. He's obviously limited. Uh, himself, he just goes off, uh, you know, especially some of the monster, and you're able to go Inferno or even OTK by him oh. uh, via him, Shundoji, and uh, Blue Blood Oni. Okay. Um, and then you got uh, three goblin zombies because these guys search out all your cards of course and you run torrential so you know my always so so go over match. that this torrential play that happened in a mirror match with you what happened what did he do oh, oh okay so in the mirror match he uh went inferno with blue blooded oni and i had hit, uh goblin zombie on the field okay so i i, I targeted uh goblin zombie and i bring out all three of them and then I just torrential. So you searched three searched times for, three for the goblin zombies. Yeah. And they don't was, miss timing, so. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Wow, that is crazy. Yeah, it was really good. So, you know, got your zombie master for next turn and everything. Um, and yeah, and pretty much this thing searched out for everything except for blue bit only and uh, pyramid turtle, but you really only need to get zombie master and uh, set up with Sh Shun Doji and uh, uh, if you need to, a, a Mizuki. Okay. All right, and then we got the uh, three. Zombie masters, of because course. they're the uh, masters of zombies. Okay. <laughs> um, now these guys really put in a lot of work. You're able to discard the cards in your, or discard the monsters in your hand. It doesn't have to be a zombie monster from your hand to the graveyard. Just the monster special, card, right? Yeah, just any monster card, oh. and you get to special summon any zombie from your graveyard. So that could be uh, blue blooded oni, uh, goblin zombie. You know, you normally go with goblin zombie or uh, blue blooded oni if. You know, you're going to go into the Inferno Reckless thing, you go Blue Blood Oni, and if not, then you go into Goblin Zombie. Okay. Um, so yeah, these guys just set up a lot. Uh, and then, for the ma most broken card in the deck, you got the three Blue oh, Blood yeah. Onis. These guys oh, yeah. just span the field so hard, and there are so many OTKs with Blue Blood Oni. I think this right here opened up like, maybe three to four brand new uh, OTKs for zombies. Like, wow. so, one just by themselves, one with uh, Cannon, Soldier, and one with Mizuki and Shoot and Doji, as well as the Volvo Chain, which just recently came out. Um, and their effects are pretty much, if you have an Exceed on the field and it has materials, you can detach one material, dispose or summon any level four zombie from your graveyard to the field. So then you pretty much just detach to special summon a new blood oni, and then you do it again to get all three blue blood onis. You overlay again, and then you use the last one's effect to do the same thing. Keep going off. It's amazing. Really, really broken. Damn. Um, and then to help get your uh, blue blooded onis out onto the field a lot quicker, you got three uh, Armageddon knights to get them, you know, into the grave so that they're more uh, live. So if you draw into a um, zombie master or a book of life or a monster reborn or whatever, you know, to get him out onto the field, it's, you know, he's already set up in your grave, so you can just straight up go just on. Just pull him out? Pull him out, get, uh, turn two, pretty much. Nice. Yeah, and then uh, another one, pretty much like an instant Inferno Reckless um, OTK is Summoner Monk. So literally you just go Summoner Monk, you can switch to defense, you uh, ditch a spell, special summon Oni, and you go Inferno, and it's pretty much GG. Yeah. That's really what happens. Um, it, he's just really, really good. And if you don't need to do that, you go into Zombie Masters. So what spell would you usually pitch for Summoner Monk? Maybe like a dead zombie world? or it, it's Yeah, just whatever's dead in your hand. Like it can okay. be anything. Okay. Or just an extra. If you have Inferno, you have MST, throw the MST, go Inferno. Okay. You know? And then um, for other zombies, we got 
bone, bone crusher. crusher. Now somebody said on my video to run bone crusher. Did you see that or did you just decide to run it? Uh, well, I mean, I probably saw that actually. <laughs> I remember seeing it, and I was like, you know, let's try it out. And I tried it out, and you're able to pop people's backer like so much easier than just with the MST. So that's okay. why normally extra MSTs you normally do that because you know you have him and you can just you foolish barrel him. Um, or just send to the grade using uh, Zombie Master or Lavalvo Chain. Okay. And then you just special summon him, and you always special summon him to last, so you're always popping like some other cards. So you're getting rid of those deep prisons, uh, mirror forces, and you know, all of those guys that happen in the battle phase or attack play creations or anything like that. Alright. Um, so yeah. Or also solve judgments. Um, and you've got the one shooting doji. This guy is so good, he puts in a lot of work also. Uh, now there's a combo here. If you use his effect, it, or let's say you banish Mizuki from the graveyard okay. to special summon something, and you have him, you play him, you activate his effect to put him on top of your deck, and then you overlay into a Lavalvo chain, and you activate Lavalvo chain's effect to send Mizuki to the grave, you special summon Blue Blood Oni, and then you detach Shuten Doji or oh. whatever to bring him back, and then you activate his effect again to put uh, Mizuki on top of the deck again. So you recycle your Mizuki. So you recycle Mizuki and you're able to go Lavalvo chain into Lavalvo chain into Lavalvo chain into whatever, or normally in able to get OTK though, you have to go into Gen Night Pearl. This is exactly a thousand. Wow, so that, that just works. comes out of nowhere, yeah. It's so is that really is, is that all the monsters you run? And that concludes all the monsters right there. Okay, well I noticed that you don't run Dark Arm Dragon. Why is that? Why don't you run Dark Arm Dragon? You have a lot of grave modification in this deck with the blue blooded Onis, the Zombie Masters, the mm -hmm. Armageddon Knights. I mean, realistically, you can pitch uh, a Dark into the grave with Arm Armageddon Knight just to toss a third one in there and special summon that Dark Arm. How do you feel about Dark Arm Dragon in this deck? Yeah, realistically, but the thing is, like, you never want to banish your Onis. Okay. And you pretty much never want to banish your Zombie Masters. Yep. Uh, the only things you might want to banish is maybe a uh, Goblin, you know, Goblin Zombie. Okay. But, and then any extra one of those. Okay. Um, normally you want to keep these guys in there because, you know, you have a Zombie World, so you want to keep those alive and be able to bring back out. But you could potentially. So um, have you ever thought about just using the, the, the Dark Arm Dragon as a 2800 beat stick? Uh, I mean, yeah, you could do that, but... Or maybe if you just have one of these cards dead in the graveyard, you can run the Dark Arm and just do one. You can just banish the one. Yeah, you could, and it does it does help you OTK a lot. Uh, so, I mean, you could put it in there. Um, I, I actually like it in here, but I didn't put it in here. Just no room? Um, just too many key cards? Couldn't take out for well, any room? Yeah, I mean, I wanted to keep it 40 because everybody was like, oh, 51 cards. So I was like, okay, cool, guys. <laughs> Alright, awesome. So I'm not going to put in 41 cards. But yeah. Okay. Well, that's understandable. Don't want to banish your key cards, and there's only a few cards to banish yeah, for the uh, the combos. Normally, so. you OTK like you know turn a minimum like three. And okay. Let's say you know. So this deck's very fast. Have, yeah, it's really really fast. Like if you see in the uh, mirror match, like it's just literally oh, always we'll by turn two someone we'll gets OTK or turn three at least. Oh, uh, and then uh, for spells, you got uh, three uh, mystical space typhoon because this deck OTK okay. a lot. Yeah. And then you got good. the uh, one heavy storm. Okay. Okay. Because you, uh, so back row destruction. Back row destruction, exactly. Um, you want to get rid of like bottomlesses and all those. And then you got the uh, one uh, Moss Reborn and the Foolish Burial, because in this deck, these guys are really good, obviously Moss Reborn, but Foolish Burial also puts in a lot of work, allowing you to send uh, Mizuki to the grave. Okay. Um, or anything else that you need at the moment. And then you run uh, two Zombie Worlds uh, in the main, and you side the other ones. Okay, um, just in case you need it against a certain matchup. What do you? What would you side it against? Uh, you would side it against dragons and prophecy. Oh, and so they I, can't banish their dragons for the effects. Yeah, exactly. So okay. they can only use like half of their dragons exactly. So you handicap them. Um, and then with prophecy, you normally want to get like a demise from uh, or demise of the land. And the reason for that is when they start something like a dragon or something at the end of the turn, then you're able to activate it. And then it gets Zombie World onto the field, so then they can't activate Fate. Oh, okay. So then that you get one thing, which is like one of their main key cards. Okay. Um, and then uh, you, for uh, uh, to special summon, you got you know your other three Book of Lives. Very key. Uh, three monster reborns, and you get to banish one of your opponent's monster cards in the grave, right? Yeah, exactly. So you banish all your key or all your uh, opponent's key cards in the grave. That's pretty broken. And it's it's just ridiculous because you know it's wow. just like a free monster reborn. Actually, you need to be able to go this into Inferno Reckless after you know special summon Blue only off of this, and it's literally just a two-card OTK. Wow. And then of course, you know, to get all your combos off, you have to run the three blue uh three blue <laughs> on it, the three Inferno Reckless. For the blue blood and for the, Yeah, exactly. For the blue blood onies. Uh you can also use this card in conjunction with the uh 
zo uh, goblin zombies. Of course. And then train torrential and get three searches. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you get three searches, so you just get all your zombie masters or whatever to your hand. Uh, you can also use it on pyramid turtles if you really, really need to. Normally you don't, uh, but that is a, a viable option in specific situations. Okay. Um, and yeah, it's just really, really good. And you know, it's not all that situational since a lot of decks normally just exceed or synchro hit the monsters, so they're normally not always going to have, you know, one of their broken monsters that they run three of in their deck. <laughs> right? And you have Book of Life, so you can banish, you know, key cards from the grave. That's true. So, like, a lot of times, you know, you go against photons or they got the Galaxy Eyes Dragons out. You get them to the grave, you banish one, and then who cares about two because you got the, the Sigmas. Yeah, gotcha. Um, and for the traps? And then for the traps, you're just two torrentials. You only put, two torrential. Yeah, that's all you need. Right? Yeah, that's. Any other traps uh, you'd run? I feel like Compulse is a very good meta call. Oh yeah, right now, compulse. right now for sure Compulse is just, you know, I didn't... No room? This is from the... Again, uh, just no room? Back in the day, yeah. Okay, okay. No room. Um, you could put it in, you could take out maybe like one Goblin Zombie. If you wanted to, uh, you know, hurt that... Or maybe you can side right. them for the MSTs against D-Dragons. Right? Yeah, you could do that too because they have no back room besides Breakthrough Skill. Besides Breakthrough Skill. Um, so yeah, and you can put it in too many for yourself. Alright, let's check out this extra deck. Probably the most important part of the deck, correct? Yeah. Because you exceed so much. Okay. All right, so you got uh, two papillas. Okay. Uh, these guys are really key against dragons because when they go dragosec and release their tokens, and you go inferno on the dragosec, then uh, with these guys, you always bring them out last. You turn the tokens into attack position, okay. and obviously you took over with the De sigma. You took over the dragosec, so now they're wide open. So you attack them all directly. So that's OTK. That makes against sense. Against dragons. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's why you run the two uh, papillas, and then you got two maestro. Uh, just because of, you know, nobody random, ever sees it coming. Stuff. Yeah, nobody ever sees it coming. They're like, exactly. oh, I got rid of the mice stroke, and then you just bring another one out. Bring another one out. <laughs> Get over uh, Ophions and, you know, all those yep, bullshit cards. Um, and the reason why that's key important is because you need, sometimes to be able to get over those guys, you need to bring out, um, what, do you, what should we call it, Endless Decay, so you need to get out those. Gotcha. And then uh, you gotta run the Gem Knight Pearl. Good card. Okay, yeah. And the reason for this is because when you go into the combo, your uh, second XC that you go into is normally never gonna have any materials because you normally go into a, like a, you know, Violent De Sigma, which takes three level fours. Yep. And then you're gonna detach for the Onis, and then you're gonna overland to two, and then you're gonna detach all the Onis from that second card. So that's normally why you go into this guy okay. in the second, as the second exceed. And then uh, you run the uh, Void Utopia, uh, because yeah, same thing. Um, and then you got um, the Cowboy. Okay, okay. That's, that's pretty standard. Stable. Yeah. Stable. Win games off of him. Uh, Stable. The Abyss Dweller, <laughs> because you know. Very key. Good everything. Format. This Very hurts like everything. Uh -huh. um, then you got the shock master. Easy to get out. Very very easy. You could even play two of him because in dragons that could be key too. Yep. Um, call monster effects. Oh yeah. And then uh, oh, I guess the, the sigmas. Okay. okay. These guys are like okay. You really just have to run these guys. You have least. to. You recommend it. Oh yeah, hella hella recommend these guys. These guys get around so much because it doesn't destroy anything. It just equips it. Okay. So you can take over like literally anything or just save it for main phase two if they drop Gorge or Tragoedia, then then you take it over, they drop Battle Fader, do the same thing <laughs> with the Monarchs, like if you know what's coming, you just let it happen and then take it over. So okay. that's really, really good. Um and then you got three Lavalvo chains, three Three Lavalvo chains, wow. Yeah, because they are like key for the OTK, right? Super, super key for one of the OTKs, and it makes the it makes it so that even if you don't have zombie world and you go turn one, you can still OTK okay. by bringing this guy out, even if you have no zombies in the grave because you're able to ditch one. So pretty much what you would do is you go into a Violent De Sigma and then you would detach, detach uh, all the Onis first and leave like the one non-zombie uh, monster on Violent De Sigma. And then you would go into a Lavalvo chain and then you would activate its effect to send a zombie monster to the graveyard and then you would special summon a zombie monster off of that. Or, or Zombie Master off of that, and then you would use Zombie Master's effect to special summon one of the Onis that you used the detach, and then you'd be able to exceed again, and you'd be able to OTK. Nice. Yeah. And then also, if you go into the normal Oni OTK, at the end, if you go into a uh, chain and then you use his effect to send like an Endless Decay or whatever to the grave, you can always reborn him via Mizuki, Book of Life, Reborn, 
or so many any reporting of those. options. That's pretty good. Yeah, exactly. And then you, you get a four thousand beater on the field besides all of your forex seeds. Okay. So it just makes the OTK possibilities a lot stronger. Yep. And uh, yeah, he just puts in a lot of work in general. And yeah, like I said, like he has that shotgun effect with the shooting doji and the blue oni and the mizuki where you just keep pumping back this uh mizuki to the top of your deck and then sending it to the grave using uh the volo chain and then especially somebody the blue oni again just recycling it all over all righty and one last card and that will be Digusto emerald because it gets all your exceeds back into your extra deck so that way you can reuse them like the chains and the, the sigmas and you know all the other guys anything you might need yeah and you're able to draw one card off of that so that it always just replaces itself so it's really really good all right let's just say you have gemini pearl in there you know that it has a secondary effect you're supposed to gemini pearl since it's a normal monster oh wow okay so with that being said today there was 21 entries which is two people per table so that's 42 people today yeah okay and out of everybody, you got top four. You actually got fourth place. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you feel about that? With, with zombies, it's very unexpected. <laughs> Dude, it was, it was pretty legit. I Good mean, feeling? Yeah, I only lost the one deck, so I mean... Which, what, did you, what was your matchups? Um, it was... Let's see, Exodia. Did you win or lose? I, I won. Oh, good. Thank God. <laughs> good. Oh my God, that was crazy. Um, and then I went against Evil Swarms. Oh. I won that. Oh, wow. I know, right? How did you win that? <laughs> I was able to keep Ophion off the field. <laughs> That's yeah. key. Did you get Endless Decay out before he can do Ophion? Uh, no, I didn't even need oh. Endless Decay on that one. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, good. Inferno it all day, you well, know. there you go. And then um, I went up against Dragons. I remember that. I was right yeah. next to you. Yep. And then uh, I went up against... Uh, what was it? I think it was the zombie guy. No, no. Heroes. Heroes. It was yeah, hero. yeah, heroes. There you go. Yeah. I won against that one. That was hands down. Which one did you lose against? Uh, I, w I lost against dragons. Of course. Unfortunately. Dragons, yeah. of course. It's and I feel like I feel like this deck is is actually faster than dragons. I really do. No, it, it can be. I, I do. Dragons don't really OTK. They You're just right. they just summon Drago Sack and turn, or they you know they you know just summon their guys and then end turn. Because you know, well, I feel like I feel like with with Inferno Reckless and Blue Blooded Oni, you're you're able to fill the field with your XZ monsters. Yeah, you can get four XZ monsters out, a plus a, a, another monster. So you fill up all your monster slots, and you pretty much proceed to OTK, correct? Yeah, because uh, you know you just go Inferno, the Sigma, take over the Draco Sack or whatever the heck they have. If they have the tokens, and you know you go into the uh, um, what do you call it? Papilli photon butterfly chicks, yeah. and then you know turn it into attack so it's it's gonna be a 25 26 21 21 which is 42 plus 26 which, it's just game okay. <laughs> like um, it's just game that's all I'm gonna say yeah um, and then you know even if they don't then you can go uh, violent to Sigma to end this or in this game uh, yep violent to Sigma into Gemini Pearl and then from there you go into the Ball or no you go into uh, like a utopia and then you're gonna go from utopia into a lavalvo chain activate the lavalvo chain's effect to send a blue blood army and a blue blood oni and this decay into the grave and then reborn it in this game at 4k oh wow or anything you know anything like above 25 so and it just increases your capability so i feel like the dragons are definitely more consistent in the uh the speed i feel like consistent yes but this more consistently more i think it is more explosive yeah like um, if this one goes off it goes off yep the only thing that really hurts is uh if they veiler yeah, the that, right that things. That hurts. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, hey, three failures. It's just the fact that they draw a bunch. Stuff happens. All right, guys. Well, we're winding down to the video. It has been the Caius Ruler. He he is in my uh, recommended channel. So why don't you guys go over there and subscribe to him? And uh, this has been Lethal Flex, guys. Peace out. Peace out.